The Lord says, My every word is a glistening drop from heaven. Trumpet call of God. October 17, 2004 From the Lord our God and Savior The word of the Lord spoken to Timothy For Timothy and for all those who have ears to hear Thus says the Lord to his servant I have heard your prayers, Timothy And this wisdom do I now command you to write down in your own hand. My son, I have bestowed upon you many gifts. Even all things which were given to the twelve shall be given you. So then, you shall go out and you shall come in, and like the twelve I shall be with you, and you shall speak. You shall surely testify and give me glory in the sight and hearing of men. Yet yeah, even greater things shall you do. Behold, even as the prophets of old, you shall go out and you shall come in. For I shall rise up within you, and you shall write my words and give a shout. You shall blow the trumpet to all nations. Thus it is not by some new wisdom you shall write, but the wisdom of old, that which has always been the same and unchanged, from all times past to all days yet to come, the everlasting word of God. For the word was and is and shall be, established even before the foundation of the world. For I am the Lord, and behold, I am also the word. Therefore, as blades of grass are beset with dew in the cool of the night, even till the morning, so shall I beset you with my words, each word a glistening drop from heaven, every letter a shining jewel. For by you shall I set all these crooked paths straight, preparing my way before me. Indeed, I shall reveal myself to many, and by the words which I shall cause you to write, shall they begin to see me as I truly am, falling to their knees, humbling themselves before me, to the praise of my glory, and they too shall receive their reward. Yet take care, Timothy, that none fall before you, lest they forget where the word originates and to whom belongs all honor and praise. Rebuke them sharply, saying, Raise your head toward heaven and worship God. Offer up all praise in the name of his Son, he who is called Christ and Jesus. I am only his messenger, a servant, sent to you for your sakes on his behalf. I follow the Lamb, wherever he goes, and so should you. Timothy, again I say to you, take utmost care in the things of power and glory, lest your mind betray you, and you think yourself greater than other men. For though I have indeed appointed you a prophet, setting you over nations and over kingdoms, to root out and to pull down, to destroy and to throw down, to build and to plant, never forget your station. You are a servant of both God and man. Behold, you shall be for me a mouthpiece, through whom I shall make my plans known, for I do not change. Therefore do not cease from humbling yourself before me. I am your strength.